Hello, everybody. Welcome to the garage shit. I am the host of this one, Zach, and this is Soul Gallic. Hope you like it. Hope you guys enjoy. Hello, world. And this is in a lovely day. One, two, three, four.
so far to save you from the world's at large. The greatest escape, it's killing me inside when I felt so lost. You know Take my hellfire eyes off you Today, we're here with Oscar Soul Gallic. Gallic. Sorry, I always want to say Soul Galaxy. You could say Soul or Galaxy. Like Soul Galax. There it is, actually. It's mm. like an S with it. Just oh, okay. Soul Galax. Okay, Soul Galax. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, so, you played the songs. They're cool. I dig them. They have like a similar style to my own songs, which is 
cool and weird and cool. Yeah, chords wise, I I, yeah. I, I, I see the diff, the similarities, like yeah, with some sevens and here's and there's. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, so, yeah. how did you get started, like playing your music? Mm, well, I mean, a lot of time by myself. <laughs> yeah, you know, just being alone in the studio, just thinking. You really just you know kind of just playing guitar you know like when you just go in like you know your own little place right here you just come in and just uh pick up the guitar how else does it start yeah mm -hmm. i yeah i get you i get you um when you first started playing what was your experience with learning or like uh were you taught or was it self-taught like where did you start playing uh the most truthfully it started with my dad giving me a bunch of records. Records that you'd probably be like, oh, like, wow. You're giving me, like, Zeppelin and ACDC and, like, you know, all the old school rock records. And, like, yeah. it doesn't give me, like, ten. He gives me, like, a collection. Yeah. And then from there, you know, I build my own collection, go over a hundred. And mm. I'm just, like, I'm a, you know, I love collecting records. If I love the artist, I'll buy the record. Yeah. So, you know, around, I'm ten and stuff, so, like, I'm 12, and then I'm like, you know, I kind of want to play guitar. So for my 13th birthday, they gave me a guitar. Yeah. Really cheap, you know, Stratocaster-looking guitar. But, you know, hey, I mean, you got to play somewhere. Yeah, and exactly. Then uh, from there, I mean, I really just uh, didn't like playing that guitar so much because it was very like, oh, everyone has that guitar. So mm -hmm. I got the new guitar I have, which is kind of old, seven years now. Yeah. Is a Jag Master, nothing special, but uh, it has that kind of a uh, Jaguarish look. It's still a cool guitar. Uh, it, lo uh, it looks, yeah. Yeah, I always wanted one like that. Character, a little bit of character, you know. Yeah, exactly. But uh, I mean, I just play really like uh, I was in a band called Save Our City, and that's really the only band that I really was. And I played bass, so it wasn't anything that I pl I always played guitar, but I was just better in rhythm. Yeah. In the sense of just grooving and everything, and just like I don't want to, you know butt heads with guitars because there's yeah. always that thing you know yeah that the little bit of that overzealousness like ego -y stuff going on yeah i get you. you you gotta have it if you're in a band but in moderation mm, yeah you want to have it in moderation yeah <laughs> that's that's definitely i mean mm -hmm. but i think like the whole thing with my solo stuff uh it just like uh it just came up really i just started to just start writing stuff uh, last year and it really just came after uh, my uh, my ex really we broke up and stuff and I had more free time to myself mm. so just stayed home hanged out with friends you know do what you do you know live yeah and then just uh, just started writing music and just kind of in my own way nothing nothing that I really wanted to uh, portray that sounds like this or that or that I wanted it to sound like me you know yeah I so it, it's not that i don't have my influences it's just more like uh it's just more like i pick up a guitar and i play like that and i just kind of want to sound like that i don't know mm -hmm. i mean this is a beginning so i wouldn't really say it's like anything yeah everything starts somewhere that's definitely that's what <laughs> like it just it has to start somewhere um what are you looking forward to like what's the deal now and moving forward what's your plan Mm. If if you have anything going on with music that you have planned out, honestly, form a group, a collaboration, and nothing where you have to be obligated to you know be in. More mm. of like uh, you want to collaborate with me, you want to just uh, do something you know new ish mm. and like you know two thousand twenty first century music. I would say yeah. nothing. Uh, I mean, I love taking it back. Don't get me wrong. I, that's how we build our you know our styles and our yeah. our whole groove and everything but uh i just like to collaborate all the time record mm -hmm. just like you actually similarities i see actually mm. high five this one high five there it is yeah, there yeah. You. yeah. but uh um i mean for at least this music that i've been doing and i i you know showed you just a little glimpse of what i have i have a like a little record that i'm want to produce and uh I'm I'm taking my time on it because I want to get the performance down. You yeah. know, you can't really rush in your music and just yeah. you know, pa 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 pa. You know, and just That's when stuff gets done out. as good as it gets. You know, yeah. like <laughs> you could be that way. I mean, and just get it done. And you know, look back and reflect and be like, oh, you know, could have could have been better. Could have. But uh, I want to take my time, and I'm, I'm pretty much there. I say, but uh, 
it's time to get it down and record it. But uh, yeah. hopefully uh, it comes down. And I honestly, I only have guitars and vocals, and I don't really have a bass player. And the only drummer I know that would be willing to play with me would be Evan, because mm -hmm. he has like, I mean, we always play every so often. So yeah. But now not so much since he he found Molly. <laughs> Oh, he married her, wifed her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a different story, though. <laughs> story for a different time or whatever, yeah. however they say. But, uh, yeah. yeah, just like a record and see who wants to, you know, come in and people like it, people listen, you know, mm -hmm. more than anything. So you also record uh, and you do that, like you have your own mics and stuff. Like, uh, where and when did that start? Actually, as soon as I played guitar. I, when I first turned, turned really young, I bought a mixer. Mm -hmm. I recorded like every person in the house, plug in their sound card directly, started off like that, just like everyone else, and then slowly, you know, just like everyone else, bought gear, yeah. bought a, you know, console, you know, here and there, and then uh, just, a, I mean, technique, really, yeah. over time. And it sounds decent, but I mean, for the most part, I, I also record like electronic music, so... Mm -hmm. I I branched into it, but I I really do want to do more like rock, more you know real instrument because mm -hmm. I feel like that gets noticed a lot. Even though you know you can go to a party and that's what you'll hear, you know, yeah. you know, every day and all day. But uh, I mean, I really do just want to you know record the record, mm -hmm. get it done, see how it goes for you know a couple moments, and then. Uh, move on to electronic music and see where that can lead because I mean not only limited to what I do so yeah I mean but I'm always you know, always happy to just do music you know touch the keyboard do, 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 whatever I don't even play violin whatever yeah <laughs> anything yeah so alright well um, do you have any like shout outs you want to make or like shameless plugs for your stuff mm, I would uh, shout out to Let's see, bands. Let's see. Remember, it's a shout out. Yeah, shout out. A shout out to. I don't. I like bands. I mean, bands I can relate to. You know. Yeah. Autolux. If you guys don't know Autolux, check them out. They're so amazing. You can go see them here in LA for a couple bucks. You'll never disappoint. You'll never be disappointed. Other person is Toki Monster. They play with Flying Lotus. Who else? Uh, Mud Honey. If you guys haven't seen Mud Honey. They used to play with Nirvana. They're still doing it, you know, just with uh, Sonic Youth and everybody else. And, you know, I, I recommend seeing them before they die. Because, trust me, when I saw them, they're getting old. They're getting old and, like, you're not going to see you're not gonna see them in a couple of years. And, uh, I don't know, just, you know, some deep house music. Job Big, he's pretty bomb. He makes some pretty good deep house music. And uh, people, I don't know, Zach, actually, for ha making this happen. Sure. I, I guided it. And yeah. I, I, I sort of, I contacted these dudes and it was all last minute. <laughs> I was like, come over at nine. And you're like, nine was 30 nine? minutes ago. <laughs> you're like, nine o'clock was 30 minutes ago. And I was like, okay, well, come over. It's like 9 a.m.? <laughs> nine, nine what? <laughs> yeah. All right, well, sure. uh, thank you, sir, for coming on the whatever I call this show. Uh, the links are in the description below to find his stuff and to find uh, the rest of these shows that we've done. Uh, thank you guys for watching this thing, whatever Dang. it is. See you guys next what time. We call it.